of Threnodes and Roses, written by Quiet, adapted for audio by Adversaria. Episode 2, Make Believe. I know you are there. Still playing these games, my friend? Why don't you show yourself? Where is that poor man? Could you at least tell me where the body is so that poor wife of his can have some peace? Damn it, Eric! Show yourself! Did you see that guy? He's yelling to himself. Shh, don't look at him. I must look like a lunatic talking to myself. What are you doing, Eric? If you plan to kill me, why not do it and get it over with? I'm not going anywhere. Well, my friend, I guess our little game continues. Pour one cup of boiling water into rice mixture. Let sit for five minutes. Gah, this looks gross. I wish I had enough money just to order a pizza. Ouch! Ow! What the hell, Christine? You can't even cook a prepackaged meal? Hello, Mrs. Valerius? Um, no, sorry. Is this Miss Christine Daae? Oh, um, yes, this is she. Hi, I'm calling about your audition for Showboat one week ago. Oh, yes? You've been chosen to be the understudy for the role of Magnolia. Congratulations. If for some reason the lead actress can't perform, you'll take over. Of course, you will be required to attend rehearsals and learn the lines. I'm calling to confirm your acceptance of the role. What? Are... are you sure? I only tried out once, and I... I wasn't even aware there were understudies. I don't have any idea how casting decisions are made. As for understudies, this performance is expected to have a fairly large audience. I imagine that a cancellation would be devastating to the charity and all those involved. Do you accept the position, Ms. Dae? I... yes, of course! Thank you so much! Rehearsals begin next Tuesday, at which time you will be given more information. Okay, thank you again! You're welcome, goodbye. <laughs> Understudy for the lead? Oh my god, I can't believe it! I have to call Meg! And Mrs. Valerius! Oh, she'll be so happy! <laughs> Papa, are you watching? I'm going to make you proud. Someone to watch over me. <laughs> This is so great. I'm so glad you get to come with me to rehearsals. And almost like you're in the play. I know, I was so shocked when they called me. The secretary, or whoever she was, probably thinks I'm a complete idiot. I'm sure she doesn't think that. Wanna hear something funny? My mother has been fuming all morning. Why? What happened? She was trying to tell them how to run things, like she always does. One of the directors finally told mom that her assistance wouldn't be needed with the play. He told her that she could help with seating if she wanted to. She was so angry when she got home. I bet. What did she do? That's the funny part. She actually took them up on their offer. I guess mom thinks that she can still find a way to control things, even if she is only an usher. 
Or maybe she likes to be involved with the stage. Eh, maybe? Oh, here we are. Huh, the room's kind of small. I think they're just going to explain things today. None of the actors from New York are here yet, and I doubt we're gonna start today. They want to talk to the amateur performers and set crew. Hey, look! That's Charlotte Gregory over there in the corner. The one from our university who got Magnolia. She's gonna be the one thing about this that isn't so fun. Yeah, I remember you guys talking about her. She can't really be that bad though, right? Just be glad you've never had a class with her. Attention everyone, quiet down. Good evening, my name is Arthur Remy. I don't have a lot of time tonight, but I wanted to give you the schedules and basic scripts. Maybe answer a few questions. Let's see, rehearsals are only Tuesdays and Thursdays at first. They'll become more frequent as we get closer to opening night. Set designers can kind of plan their own schedules, but keep me up to date. Don't go over the assigned budget. Please. I don't think I can come in every Thursday. I have several appointments on Thursdays. It shouldn't matter, though. I already know most of the lines. Yes. Well, Miss Gregory, it's required that you attend most of the rehearsals so that you can interact with the cast. Surely you can make arrangements. <sighs> I guess. So, when do the real actors get here? Everyone in here is a real actor or actress, Miss Gregory. If you mean the guest actors from New York, they'll be here in about two weeks. I guess that's enough for now. I'm sorry to be brief, but I am short on time. Any more questions before we get out of here? Yes, Miss... Daye. Um, I'm the understudy for Magnolia, and I was wondering how well I should learn everything. I mean... I'll need to practice singing and reading lines. Will I rehearse at all? Ah. Well, let's, uh, let's not worry about that now. Hopefully, nothing will happen to our lead. It won't. Anyway, can we leave now? Oh, yes, yes, you're free to go. <sighs> well, that was hardly worth the drive. Shh. Let Mr. Remy hear you say that. Mr. Remy's not paying me gas money. Meg, you were right about Charlotte. I think she already hates me. She hates everybody. Trust me. Even the professors get tired of her in class, but she's talented. So no one ever does anything about her attitude. <sighs> you just have to ignore her. I'll try. I hate having enemies, though. So far, I've managed not to make any. That's because you hardly talk to anyone. You don't take risks. I... Oh, Meg! I left my purse back in the room. I don't know how. It was right next to me. Oh, don't worry, Christine. It's probably still there. I need to speak with some of the other girls anyway. Meet you at the front in five minutes? Sure. I'll be quick. Oh, which room was it? Not that one, not that one. Oh, I think it was this one. Ugh, oh, this wasn't it. How did I get so turned around? Well, it's probably been stolen already anyway. Not like there was much in there. Christine. <laughs> Christine Daye. Hello? Is... Someone there? Have you misplaced something? Who's there? I can't see you. Just a friend, Christine. And, as I once told you, seeing me will do you no good. <gasps> seeing me will certainly do you no good. Who... Who are you? Calm down, Christine. I am merely a friend. An admirer. But... I can't see you. Where are you? How do you know me? No one ever sees me. I am... I am much too important to be seen by anyone. A celebrity, you might say. A celebrity? Are... Are, are you an actor? 
Something like that. No more questions, Christine. The only thing that you must know is that I am here to assist you. What? I want to help you improve your singing abilities. Your voice is... unique. Simply in need of training. I can provide that. I can make you shine. What? I... I... how? You will come here, or a vacant room of your choosing, and sing after each rehearsal. I will evaluate your strengths and your weaknesses. There is nothing difficult involved. Could I please see you? This is very strange to only hear you. No! Do not ask that again. This is a unique opportunity, Christine. I would suggest that you accept the offer with no petty conditions. I'm sorry, I, I can't though. You're frightening me. I don't know who you are and I... <sighs> Meg! Woo! Christine! What's wrong? You're so... pale. Are you okay? No, I... <sighs> Nothing is wrong. I'm just tired. Okay. Mom has the SUV waiting out front. Are you sure you're okay? Did you Did you find your purse? No, I couldn't find it. It's okay though. Let's Let's just go. I'll ask Mom to check the lost and found tomorrow. Maybe it's there. Okay, sounds good. Was that my imagination? I don't know. Perhaps what scared me the most was that I wanted to believe someone was there to help me. Someone was watching over me. I had almost wanted to stay. Gregory, I need you to stand stage left of Mr. Purcell, not in front of him. I'm sure the audience would rather see me than him. I'm sure the audience would rather see the show, and not your massive ego. <laughs> now, now, settle down. Miss Gregory, stage left. Yeah, fine. Christine, are you okay? You haven't said anything today. Huh? Oh, I'm fine, Meg. Just tired. You're welcome to come over here with us and look at the scenery. It is kind of weird how they're not teaching you the lines or giving you some vocal coaching. Maybe you should complain to someone. No, I'm fine. Christine, what's wrong? Mrs. Valerius' test results came back last night. The cancer? spread everywhere. The doctor doesn't think she has more than three months left. And there's nothing they can do. God. I'm so sorry, Christine. I'm sorry it's that bad. M maybe they'll be able to treat it, though. No, they... They can't do anything. I don't know what to do. All you can do is hope for the best. And feel free to come and s stay at our house if you want. You shouldn't be alone. Meg, see what you think of this. Um, I'll be there in a sec. Go on over, Meg. It's fine. I'm going to run to the restroom anyway. I'll meet you outside. I'll, I'll come with you. You shouldn't have to deal with this by yourself. No, I... I really would like some time to myself. I'll be back in a moment. It spread too far. We can't do anything but ease her pain. I'll beat this, dear. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You know 
know that I am. She's going to die. She's going to die. We all must die, Christine. <laughs> I know. But she's going to die. And I'm going to be all alone. I don't know what to do. You will not be alone. Surely you have figured that out by now. You may mourn, though. I want to sing for her. She's always wanted me to. And I always refused. And I will teach you how. Everyone will know of your talent soon. Assuming you accept my offer and do not go running off again. I don't think I'll be singing here. No one even notices me. But I would like to sing for Mrs. Valerius before she... Before... Don't think so little of yourself. I suggest you learn the part of Magnolia as if you were going to play it. I will. And this trivial production is only the beginning. Much greater things await you. Are you sure I can't see you? It would be easier, sir. No! Christine, do not ask. When do we start? Now, Christine. We start now. Christine! I didn't see you leave last rehearsal. Where did you go? Huh? Oh, I... I went home early. I was tired that night. Oh. How is... everything going? Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No new test results have come in or anything. Hopefully things will work out. Yeah. Well... We better go into the rehearsal room. You know Mr. Remy's motto. If you're early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. Okay, Melissa, calm down. What happened exactly? Okay, so I went into a back room to look for some felt for the costumes, right? And something jumped out in front of me. I nearly had a heart attack. Whoa, what did we walk into? It jumped out in front of you? Yeah! Like an animal? No, like a person, I think. But it was too dark to see anything. So maybe it was an employee? Why is it such a big deal? It looked like a giant shadow, and its eyes were glowing like a cat's. I am dead serious. Did it say anything? I didn't stick around to find out. Nearly twisted my ankle running out of there. She could be making it up. Melissa can be kind of dramatic about things. But that is kind of freaky, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Okay, everyone, enough gossip. Listen up. Got a little good news on the budget, and a couple of professional actors are going to be here by next week. I have some quick printouts of who they are. Don't be afraid to ask them questions. Why did they bother to make me an understudy? It seems like a cruel joke. They wouldn't even notice if I left. Hello? Good evening, Christine. Oh, you're here. I... I memorized a lot of the lines like you told me to. The songs are kind of difficult, but I was hoping... I will help you learn the music. As I said, I would. Do not worry about that. Thank you, sir. I'm still not sure why you want me to learn it, though. They ignore me when I'm out there. You will understand everything in time. I assure you, though, that they will not ignore you one day. They will adore you. Thanks. If nothing else, though, I just want to make Mrs. Valerius happy. You will make her very happy, Christine. I think it's time to begin. 
Now, some warm-up scales first. Yes, but will anyone hear me and come in? What should I say to them? It is not unusual for people to practice roles or receive lessons. Let us begin. Sorry, my voice cracked. You will simply have to strengthen your voice. Practice brings a higher range and precise pitch. I know, but it feels kind of hopeless. It is not hopeless. Do you intend to put effort into this or not? Yes, of course I do. I'm sorry. It is fine. We will start with a simpler piece. Sing through it once, and I will help with improvements. The songs are not that difficult. Let us begin. I'm sorry. That was terrible. Your timbre was satisfactory. Everything else will come with time. Stop! You need to open your mouth wider and let the sound emerge. Do not try to force vibrato. It will come out naturally. Again, from the beginning. We could make believe Stop! You do not need to raise your chin in order to sing higher. Keep your chin lowered and try again. Now, breathe in for four counts. Hold. Then release your breath for eight counts. Good. You need to remember to breathe. Yes, sir. Stand up straight. This is the fourth time I have told you. Yes, I'm sorry. That is enough now. You were adequate today. Oh, wow. It's been four hours already? I didn't even notice. Thank you so much for this. I'll be back on Thursday, but I have to start work soon. I'm not sure of my schedule yet. You will do what you have to. But... Before you leave, check the corner next to the door. You may find something you want. <gasps> My purse! How did it get there? I thought it was stolen. <sighs> Thank you. Um, have a good night. Are you looking for something? <gasps> Eric! Good evening, Nadir. You have certainly done wonderful detective work to find me in this little city. But I am tired of this game now. Do you really want to die that badly? Eric, what are you doing? You promised no more of this chaos. That man is dead, isn't he? 
What I do isn't your business, friend. Although you were the one to involve him in my affairs, weren't you? I was hoping to never see you again. But apparently, you've traveled across the ocean to visit me. <laughs> to what do I owe this pleasure? You know why I'm here, Eric. You lied to me. That, that stuff is missing. You brought it here. I don't know how the hell you did it, but you managed to get it past every international checkpoint. Calm down, dear. I did no such thing. In fact, I've done absolutely nothing but make a living in this splendid country. Now go back to where you came from and leave me alone. Leave this place or you will regret it. Then why is it missing, Eric? I know you didn't get rid of it. That would be too damn decent of you. I don't owe you any more explanations. You find out where it's gone if you're so concerned. I suggest you leave now, though. Unless you really do have a death wish. Ah, and here is your key. Really, my friend. You should choose better accommodations. For your own sake, I hope this is the last conversation we have. I'm afraid I can't leave, Eric. By allowing you to live so many years ago, I'm the one responsible for any disaster you create. Uh, I don't feel like studying anymore. What time is it? One? Did I even eat lunch? Is there even any lunch to eat? Maybe there's at least some peanut butter. I could try to make a sandwich. Wait. No, I don't have any bread. Or money to buy bread. <laughs> uh. Who could that be? Christine Daae? Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm from Benson's Groceries. I've got a pretty big delivery for you. I'm sorry, I didn't order anything. Maybe you should try my neighbor. It's got your name right on it and it's paid for. We got Campbell's Soup, Kraft mac and cheese, cornflakes, instant rice, Dr. Pepper, a few bottles of rose scented shampoo and conditioner. Do you normally get any of these items? Um, yeah. All of those, actually. So they're yours? I... yeah, I guess they are. You can put them right in the hallway. Thanks. Oh wait, that must have been heavy. Let me give you something for all this. <gasps> um, miss, are you okay? If you don't have any money, that's all right. Most people don't tip me anyway. No, no, I have, um, I have money. Here's a five. Thanks, have a good day. You too. This, this can't be my purse. There must be... Over $2,000 in here. It has to be a mistake. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Valerius. It's Christine. Hi, dear. How are you? I'm fine. Did you... Did you order groceries to be delivered to the apartment this afternoon? No, I haven't had time. Maybe I could get them to let you use my charge card, though. I know it must be very difficult for you. No, I'm fine. Are you sure, dear? Yes. Everything's fine.
Hello? Sir? Christine, are you ready to begin? Yes, I am. It's... it's just that... That what? Did you put that money inside my purse? I found thousands of dollars inside my billfold. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> you should learn to accept gifts. Were you not in need of funds? No, I was very grateful for it, but... But why would you? I mean, why do you want to help me? I never said that I was the one to give it to you, did I? Stop fretting and accept it as a gift from a friend. Let us begin. Yes, sir. That was done very well. Thank you. You've helped me so much. The vocal exercises you told me to do were great. I simply work with what I am given, Christine. Now, have you learned the lines? After rehearsals have progressed past being pointless social events, you will need to observe the cast. Our lessons will have to be changed to a different time. I've learned most of the lines, but it may be difficult to come in at different times. I go back to work again next week. Maybe- If you want to succeed, you will have to devote a great deal of time to this. Are you still not able to pay your bills? I'm sure arrangements can be made. I can pay them now, but the money won't last forever. Plus, there's college tuition. I promise I'll still come here as much as I can. I'll devote all my free time to it. We will see how everything comes around. Remember that you will never be alone, Christine. And that most problems can be solved very easily. Whatever you need, you will likely get. Thank you. Distant these last couple weeks. Mm hmm. Christine? Hey, Sarah, can you guess who I am? Can't help loving that man of mine. <laughs> I'd say you were Charlotte, but I don't think I've ever heard her sound that good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Christine. Earth to Christine. Huh? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Meg. I was thinking about something. You're sure you're okay? You don't talk to me that much anymore. And you always leave so early. Where do you go? I'm fine, Meg. Just busy. I'm just taking some time to myself. If you don't know your lines, then why bother rehearsing it? It's a waste of time. What is your problem? I stumbled over one word in the entire scene. 
The play isn't even for a couple more weeks. <sighs> Whatever. You can go rehearse by yourself. This would be so much more fun if she wasn't here. I don't know how those two are ever gonna do a love scene. Hey, do you think this river looks okay? It got a little smeared. It looks great, Meg. The set is going to be gorgeous. Um, well, rehearsal looks like it's pretty much over, so I think I better be going. Who gave me this? Gave you what? Don't look at me. Don't pretend you don't know. This note. Who gave me this note? Well, what's it say? Dear Miss Gregory, it would be in your best interest to forfeit the role of Magnolia to someone more deserving. They say flu season is quite nasty this year. Best regards. <laughs> hey, I want to see the note. <laughs> Looks like a five-year-old wrote it in red marker. My little cousin has better handwriting. It's still a threat. Now who wrote this? Calm down, Miss Gregory. It would be much appreciated if someone would fess up. But I don't think it's anything more than a harmless joke. Yeah, besides, they're threatening you with the flu? <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah kind of childish. It was obviously meant as a joke. Definitely <laughs> not something to freak out about. I'm leaving. I think that's enough for today. And guys, no more jokes like that. I'll have to start showing the police if we see any more threats. Understood? Yes, Understood. Mr. Remy. Yes, sir. Hello. Good evening, Christine. Did you enjoy rehearsal? Yes. Except for this girl named Charlotte, everyone seems nice. <laughs> Someone sent her a threatening letter. It was a joke, but she was furious. We tend to get what we deserve. Have you been practicing? I practice every chance I get. Mrs. Valerius has been going through some new tests, so I've had to go visit her. And work has started again, so that takes up time. I may not be able to come for a week or two. My boss wants me to work some overtime. Tell him you can't. What? I don't really have a choice. He hasn't been too happy with me lately, and I really need the money. I told you that everything will be taken care of. You must make this your first priority, Christine. But I'm not even going to be in the show. I'm an understudy. Why is this so important? <sighs> Hello? Sir? I'm sorry, but I... I have to work. Please say something. Please? Hello? Please say something. I'm sorry. It's six o'clock right now. I should be at my lesson. The voice isn't waiting for me, is it? I said I had to work. Miss! Huh? Oh, hello. Welcome to the Apollo Hotel. Would you like to book a room? I'm already a guest. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, can I help you? Yes. The heater is broken in our room. It's absolutely freezing in there. I'll get someone to check it in just a minute. Well, don't you want to know the room number? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. What's the number? 155. I'm sorry again. I'll send someone right up there. Honestly, young people these days, so irresponsible. I need to concentrate. Christine. Oh, Daniel, uh, there's a heater broken in room 155. Yeah, I heard. Listen, is everything okay? You've been kind of inattentive lately. Two of the guests have complained that their bills weren't correctly figured. Um, yeah, I've been fine. Just busy. Christine, I... Apollo Hotel, how may I help you? Yes, I'll get her. It's for you, Christine. Hello? Christine? Meg? What's wrong? I know you're at work, but I had to tell you. My mom got back from the theater this afternoon. 
guess what she told me? Charlotte is really sick. What? What's wrong with her? They don't know. They think it might be some weird, boring disease. They're like quarantining her. I almost feel bad for some of the things that I said. She wasn't very nice, Meg, but that is terrible. What are they going to do when the show opens? That's kind of the good part. You're the understudy. You get to be in the show until she's well, which could take several weeks from what I have heard. <gasps> You're right. I would have to fill in. Christine, maybe you can finish this conversation later. I'm sure you'll be ready. I heard you practicing one. You're really good. Thanks, Meg. Anyway, I need to go now. I'll call you tonight. Okay. Talk to you later. Christine, you haven't done any of the filing. Are you sure you're okay? This really isn't like you. I know. I'm fine. It's just... Ever since my accident, I've... Christine? I'm sorry. I... I have to go right now. It's... It's an emergency. Christine, you can't walk out of here whenever you want. Now either explain this or I'll be forced to have someone replace you. Christine? Christine! I'm sorry, I have to go. Hello? Please answer. I'm so sorry I'm late. Please, you have to help me. I'm going to be in the musical now. Charlotte is sick. Calm down. I am here, Christine. I would not abandon you. Oh, thank you. I was afraid you weren't going to speak to me anymore. I'm so sorry I'm late. I just... The reason is not important. You are here now. And you intend to stay. You intend to fully devote yourself. That is what matters. Yes, I'm staying no matter what. I don't know if I'm ready to play Magnolia yet, though. Oh, I can't believe that Charlotte got sick so quickly. You will be ready. You are already better than Miss Gregory by far. It's almost a blessing that she fell ill. Wouldn't you say so? I... I'm not happy that she's sick, but the opportunity is amazing. I really can't believe it. I'm going to be on stage. Believe. You will sing in front of this minuscule town. And then you will perform for the world. Have faith in yourself. Thank you. No one has ever helped me so much. Ever. Who are you? Sometimes I think you're some sort of angel. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded silly. I, I have told you, I am a friend, an admirer. And if you wish it, Miss Dye. Then I am an angel. Your angel. Are you ready for your lesson? We will have to stay a bit longer because of your lateness. Yes, of course. Oh, it's that girl from before, the hotel clerk. What was she doing here so late? Well, perhaps the door she left out of is still unlocked. That would be fortunate. Ah, locked. It must have locked behind her. Isn't she marvelous, Nadir? What? Eric! What is going on? Who is marvelous? Nothing is going on, friend. Oh. Why are you here tonight? I assume you're not taking a tour of the theater at this hour. Eric? I'm here because of that girl. The one who is sick, Charlotte Gregory. 
She has some disease that hasn't been seen in this country for over 30 years. Please tell me you didn't. <laughs> Maybe she has been to a foreign country recently. I had nothing to do with it. But Miss Daye will play the part perfectly. Miss Day? Was that the girl who just walked past? Eric, what the hell is going on? What are you doing to that girl? Nothing. Helping her. Merely being a friend, Nadir. Now, leave me. Leave this town. My patience is growing very thin with you. Eric, please tell me. What are you doing with that girl? I have told you. I am helping her. Now, leave. I don't know what you're doing, but I will not leave until I find out. <laughs> you have grown braver over the years, friend. I don't know if that's to your benefit, though. You should stay away from locked doors, Nadir. You will often find they are locked for a reason. Have a good night. Eric? Eric! <sighs> He's gone. What was that girl doing here? Is Eric really helping her? She didn't seem afraid. In fact, she left with a smile. But I can't see how a shy young woman would be comfortable in his presence. He's upsetting enough with his mask on. And without the mask... <sighs> No woman would get near him. Knock, knock. Mrs. Valerius, it's me. Hello, dear. Glad you could come up and visit me today. It gets a little boring around here. I brought you some flowers. I thought they might help brighten the room a little. Ah, oh, thank you, dear. They are beautiful, just like you. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm fine, Christine. I'm just happy to see you. I'm sorry I haven't come up more often. The musical's keeping me busy. I have a strict vocal coach. I'll try to visit more, though. Don't worry about that. I'm thrilled for you, Christine. I'm so happy you started singing again. You must have a wonderful instructor to help you so much. He is wonderful, except I've never seen him. Never seen him? Then how is he teaching you? I hear him. He's just a voice. A really beautiful voice. I don't understand it. Sometimes I think I'm insane. You're not insane, dear. Maybe someone cares about you. Maybe you've found a miracle. Whoever he is, he's given you a great gift. Yeah, he has. It's been amazing. I really wanted you to come to my opening night next week. I've been practicing with the cast, the scenery looks wonderful, but I know that you can't. No, I'm afraid I'm stuck in bed. But I'll be cheering for you from here. And someday I'll hear you sing. And I'm sure your father will be listening. I think I'll visit him sometime soon. It's been a while. It's hard for me to go down there. Maybe after the performance, I'll try to make the trip and stay overnight. That's a wonderful idea, Christine. Place some fresh flowers on the grave. Though I do worry about you making that drive by yourself. Could you ask someone to go with you? Yeah, maybe I can get Meg to come along. You look really tired. I guess I'll let you rest now. But I'll try to be back up this week. Have a good night, Christine. And God bless. Of Threnodies and Roses. This ends episode two. 
next episode. I might fall back on you. <laughs>